And hello to you. Welcome. Bienvenidos a Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, let's talk about a very important topic. Mental health is a tough topic to tackle in the Latino community. Some of it is a cultural barrier with people refusing to seek help. The other part of it is language. There are not many mental health resources to help the Spanish-speaking community. One organization, though, that's been working for 12 years to change some of that is the Kedzie Center, helping the Logan Square, Avondale, and Hermosa neighborhoods. And joining us now to talk a little bit more about this, Aida Roldan. She's a chairperson uh, of the Board of Directors of Expanded Mental Health Services of Chicago. Hello to you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you for inviting me. This is such a wonderful topic that people mm -hmm. are really uh, trying to spotlight at this moment in time because so many of us are dealing with it. What mm -hmm. are you noticing within the Latino community? Mm -hmm. How has that evolved? Well, we have noticed in 2022, um, as we are coming out of the pandemic, uh, hopefully, um, again, uh, increased depression, anxiety, um, isolation, mm -hmm. um, especially with youth, our young people in our community. We serve the North River yeah. community. 62% um, of our residents are Latino or identify as Latino. Um, and, um, you know, these young yeah. people have gone through uh, virtual time, learning yeah. and isolation and, um, you know, real it's stressors. Tough. Yeah, it's, it's been, been tough very, for a lot of very, people. Very tough. So you're seeing the same problems that we're seeing across the board, across Chicago, across the country, those stressors of depression, isolation, you're seeing that as well in the Latino community. No nothing really different than what we're seeing everywhere else. Nothing really different except that when you're talking about more vulnerable populations mm -hmm. where um, you have, we know that communities of color have um, suffered more uh, during the pandemic um, and in terms of increase of job loss, mm -hmm. um, housing insecurity, food insecurity, and all of that contributes to increased stress anxiety, depression. So it makes what is already bad even worse. Even worse. Or at least it seemed that way. Yes. Uh, bring in the Kedzie Center. Talk to me about what this organization has been doing, because I feel like oftentimes people don't hear about an organization like this. Explain to folks who maybe don't know at home, what does it do? What's it all about? Well, the Kedzie Center, uh, many people don't know that um, we are publicly funded. The residents of North River fund our center, so they have a say about um, the services, what we do, and so our program is tailored, and our programs are tailored to meet the needs of the North River community. Mm -hmm. And I want to just make a correction. We've been in existence since 2014. 2014, okay. The Act, the Mental Health Services, Community Mental Health Services Act passed in 2011 in when okay. Quinn signed the Act. And uh, we all went door to door and um, told the community about um, this uh, act and their uh, opportunity to fund their own center. They voted, 74% of the community voted to have their tax, par a part of their tax dollars go to um, to oh, the community mental health center. That's so interesting because mm -hmm. you don't see that happen in a lot of places. This is groundbreaking. Since the Kedzie Center was established, there are three more. Um, so we are hoping that, again, this gives us stability. Yeah. Uh, we're not, th this was a time when the city was closing many community mental health centers so that we have a re reliable and steady um, funding source, mm -hmm. which is the community, as long as they're pleased with our services. And talk to me about the types of services that you're able to offer. Obviously therapy being one of them, but you know, oftentimes it goes beyond that. Yeah. Well, you know, our, our mission is to provide and to give access to quality, culturally informed mm -hmm. psychotherapy services and mental health services. It goes beyond uh, in the office, in our con consultation room, of course. Our, the community is also our, our client. Mm -hmm. And for instance, we have a survivor circle uh, program, which uh, provides support for families that have lost um, a child or a loved one to gun violence mm -hmm. or communi community violence or death due to COVID. 
uh, we have a, um, a parent and education group for immigrant caregivers called Ab uh, Abriendo Puertas. Um, and so we, we have another, the, the um, oh, I'm forgetting the name, which is... Yeah, a, you've got a lot of different resources, and I'm sure people can read about them and find out about them through your website. Yes, it's all on our website. <laughs> but I've got to say this, the storytelling for our DACA students and our undocumented students is, just, you know, they write their stories about their fears and anxieties about mm -hmm. um, their immigrant status and the changing immigrant um, laws so that there is a space, a safe space where they yeah. can also as a group put into words what they couldn't say verbally before yeah. and that's very healing. And how to cope with a and situation how to cope like that with which that. is difficult yeah. in mm. and of itself. So yes. uh, you've got an event coming up uh, which is a big fundraiser event for the Kedzie Center. Tell me about it. It's coming up in July. So as I said, we have this uh, the steady funding stream from the community, which we appreciate, but it's, it's never enough if mm -hmm. we want to expand and our, our programs and do more for the community. So we have our annual event, July 28th. And I will be there with and you. And you yeah. will be there, so thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we will uh, have Richard Blanco as our featured speaker, um, o President Obama's poet laureate mm -hmm. in 2012. Um, and we will, um, in, we're inviting the community. Again, it's our main fundraiser. Mm -hmm. We um, are looking for people to donate, to um, donate money, uh, yeah. auction items, uh, tell your friends, social media, whichever way you can help us, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, sounds good. And we will post the information on our website as well on our Facebook page for the Kedzie Center. We appreciate your time. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having me. Please come back.